Yeah. <laughs> Guess where we're at today? We are at Triumph. Where's the logo at? It's around the building. We came over here. We're out with Lex. Lex, what up? Gang. Lex is on the Kawasaki. Will got his new bike, white Panigale. Last time you guys saw Will, he had the red Super Sport. And then you guys already know what I got. So two brand new bikes. And uh, we're here today because Will is interested in getting a cruiser bike. So we're going to see exactly what he's going to like and what he's going to get. Just window shopping, but well, you got to get something though. At least a keychain. <laughs> At least a keychain, bro. Look good on there, brother. You look good. What's up, man? How are you? Uh, no, we're just looking around right now. Yeah. All right, so we just came out of Triumph. Will absolutely fell in love with the Triumph Bobber. He loves it. And the guy was trying to give us a really, really good deal. It was like $1,500 off uh, MSRP. That's because it's a leftover. And it's, uh, it's a pretty good deal, actually, man. So we're just going to head over to uh, India now. Because we want to see uh, the Bobber Scout. This is an amazing bike as well. It's one of the bikes that before I hired uh, my Iron 83, I was planning on getting. But it was prices on the 883, so that's why I had to go with it. It's a pretty cool bike. Man, the last time Will and I were riding together, he had the red uh, Super Sport Ducati and I had my Iron 83. And now we're here, we are with two brand new bikes within what? I think the last time we rode was two months ago. Pretty cool, man. Here we are, Indian motorcycles. I'm a big, big fan of Indian. I mean, to me, it's a very classic, classic brand. Been around way before even Harley Davidson. So we're gonna see how Will feels about the uh, bobber now. Indian Scout. That's it. No, you know what? That that's not even. That's it. But it's it's not the bobber. All right. You gotta say it's it's I need more like pit stops. Yeah. That's a nice dash. That that that's better. It's better than the one that Harley has. <laughs> oh, bro. You had no buffer at all. Yep. That's that's fine. That is so cool. That's fine. <laughs> take your left hand. And just tap that. All right, well, we ended up in Bear Mountain without even planning on coming up here. We're actually heading up to Cold Springs, which is past Bear Mountain, but we're cutting through. Hey, it's beautiful views, guys. If you've seen my videos before, you've seen I've come here a few times. Love riding through here. Perfect day to come up here because today I'm learning, I'm really learning how to ride this bike. I mean, I'm coming off my Iron 883 onto this bike and I literally need to learn the ins and outs of this bike. I need to learn how far I can push it, how far I can lean it over, how much power I can get out of it in certain corners and on uh, straightaways and everything. And I'm telling you, keeping up with these guys on straightaways, it was like hitting 100 on here, keeping up with these guys was nothing. It was like this bike does it with without any issue. 
without any issue. And the lean angle, oh my God, the lean angle is way better. I would have been scraping peg right now on my iron with these uh, corners. Really good lean angle. Lots and lots of power, so when you want to get out of these turns. And even at, um, when I was on the highway right now at, uh, at six gear, I'm able to pull in and out of traffic like crazy, like, like nothing, like nothing. This bike is just a, it just has so much power, man. Look at this view. Oh man, this looks beautiful. This is, I, I want to come up here again and show you guys when the leaves start turning more color as well. So everything can look nice and orange and reds and yellows. And we can go all the way to the top and oversee everything. Man, that's beautiful. These guys have really been gunning it today and I've been keeping up with them. Look at that view. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. This is what I do. I do a lot of work on my bikes, but I also do a lot of riding like this. A lot of sightseeing, enjoying everything along the ride, along the ways, beautiful sceneries. So if that's what you're into, go ahead, subscribe. Smash the like button right now, man. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, smash the like button right now. Give this video a big thumbs up. First group ride on my low rider S. Damn, this place is packed today. Lots of people out here hiking. Will has gotten really good. Big, big difference from when, months ago when we used to ride. He hits these corners like crazy, man. This bike is so nimble, man. You just throw it around you would think that you're on a smaller bike probably gonna keep it at fifth gear all the way through here there's no point of bringing this bike up to six i mean really six you really use six gear when you're in the highway but you can cruise at your lower lower gears I mean, right now i could cruise at fourth in fourth gear for one or two three here the gears on this bike they're, they're like really stretched out i think that this is around Around that area we pulled over that time when <laughs> when Will dropped this bike. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> I laugh at it now. I mean I know he was pissed that day, but it's uh kind of funny when we think about it now. Literally pulled over this guy, steps in a puddle, and there goes his bike. That that was a deep ass puddle, man. <laughs> oh man. I'll probably tag that video in the end so you guys could um see it if you're interested man i am hungry we're almost there so we're headed to uh what was it cold springs i think he said um we should be almost there it's supposed to be like a nice little scenic view uh with like the ferry on the river and everything and then after that we're gonna keep cruising a little and after that i gotta go home because i got some a new homeowner stuff to attend to we're redoing our kitchen right now, my wife and I, and we went to pick out some cabinets a while ago, and today we're gonna get the uh, exact quote of everything. We had them come to the house the other day and measure. So we're just making everything legit today. So that's why I gotta hurry back home after this ride. A lot of good stuff are happening right now, man. New house, new bike. New subscribers. New stuff coming to my YouTube channel as well, guys. Tune in for that. Tune in for that. If you guys are into beer and into bikes, I got something cool coming soon. Something really, really cool. So subscribe, baby. Hi. <laughs> That 
bikes sound so good. That's the thing about Japanese bikes, man. They make beautiful sounds. Beautiful sounds. Big difference from the Kawasaki to the Ducati. The Ducati makes a beautiful, beautiful sound, but honestly, nothing beats a Jap bike when it comes to sound, man. Nothing. Yep. Yep. So hopefully soon, guys, we're gonna be seeing more cruiser bikes on the channel because Lex wants to get a Harley. He's just undecided if he wants to get a Street Bob or the Sportster Roadster. He's looking at those two. And Will is completely in love with the Triumph Bobber now. But they're not getting rid of the bikes. They're, uh, they're getting secondary bikes. So they're beating me to it, having two bikes. But it's cool. I joined them uh, spring or summertime. I'll have my sport bike. Man, I gotta tell you something. I've been on this bike for a few hours today. And I gotta say, I have not complained about any pain from this seat. Like, it's, a, it's extremely comfortable. If I, I would have been on my Sportster, man, my ass would have been aching right now. It would have been really aching. But man, this seat is so comfortable. And the suspension on here as well, plays a big part. And the, the whole ergonomics of the bars being up here. Man, it's coming through a ride, man. I've enjoyed this ride so much today. Needed this, wanted this. Look at this, blue skies, clear skies, baby. Wow, nice view. I keep having to look down here all the time. I, I really gotta get used to looking at these gauges down here. I'm iron, I had everything right there in front of me. But now I gotta keep looking down. Gotta see what gear I'm on, what RPM I'm hitting, because for the first thousand miles, obviously I don't want to be going over the 3500 RPM limit. Gotta take care of this little bad girl. She's a dirty, dirty girl, but she clean though. <laughs> I think we made it to our destination. It's like your little street. A lot of restaurants. Coffee, hot chocolate. <laughs> Everybody's looking at us like, oh my god, they're coming here to terrorize our neighborhood. <laughs> Oh, there we go, some bikes. This was like a little, reminds me of a little beach town. You know, I gotta say guys, I have not gotten much heat from this bike, man. Like, there, there's not much heat coming off this motor right now, which is amazing. I thought it was going to get hotter with this 114 engine, but it's pretty good, man. Happy about that. That was actually uh, one of my little concerns that I had. So the bike is going to be getting really hot. Oh, uh, this is nice. Very cool. And we're here. This is a nice little town. Nice. Look at that V right there. That's amazing. This is where we ride, baby. That old cannon looks so cool. Take a look at that. It's cool, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, really? 